I'm Sir Tap Tap, and welcome to Let's Play. A good snowman is hard to build. This is a. Is that? Huh. I guess that is the starting position. So, this is the snowman building puzzle game. Our review cut with this game is provided by the itch.io press system. Um, this is created by Alan Hazelden, one of the creators of Sokoban. So, um. Which. It's a game that is good, but I haven't really showed because I think it's, you know. Decently well known. So, basics of this game should be pretty obvious. Uh, my main or initial interest was mostly because, dang, this looks nice, doesn't it? So, basically, we just want to build our little snowmen. Um, it's a lot like the. It's kind of like the um, Animal Crossing sort of uh, snowman building method. And so, all the snowmen have little names. Uh. Wait, do we just zone out? Nice. But I mean, just look at the art. That's... Uh, hmm, I'm not sure how to... Uh, oh, and one neat thing about this game... Hmm. How about this? Uh, right. Is that uh, if you quit the game... I won't show you because I mean, I'm recording, but... Uh, if you quit the game and then start it back up, you appear, like, on the exact same, like, you know turn, quote-unquote, and location that you quit the game at. So, uh... Oop. Oh, and it has just-in-time tips, too. Uh, hmm. uh, let's redo this one. Uh, hmm. This... Dang it. This is what I want to do. So now... Oh, nope. Hmm. Uh, what was I talking about? It's just really nice that it, you know, exits and opens back up real seamlessly. David! And all the snowmen have little different... Oh, and you can hug them! You can hug the snowmen! This game is adorable. Alright, so, William! What is the... what? <laughs> I love how you could just kick it. Um... And they did a really cute... Aww. We just... Chill. More games need ways that your character can just sort of... Chill. And relax. And the music changes too. That's something I always kind of liked in... Uh, Animal Crossing. Um, I think they first did it in... Hmm. Hmm. Animal Crossing. Uh, a New Leaf. Is that you can add... Sure what to do about this one. Oops. Is that you can just sort of chill out on a bench. That's right, Parker. Yes. Uh, hmm. So. Oh, I think I think I got it actually. Oh, and you can't put the. You got to start from the base. You can't put. You know, put the small one on the medium-sized one and then roll that into the big one. That'll just, you know, you'll just end up bumping off the top one. I just love that we can sit. More games just need little pointless but neat features like that. It gives it a lot of personality. So... Hmm. Uh, that's a problem. Wait, no, that's that's not that's that's fine. Okay, this is the kind of puzzle game I like. It's just nice and relaxing. I, I mean, there's a place for hard puzzle games, but I, I don't tend to enjoy them myself. I just want to. Uh oh. Hmm. Generally, I just kind of want to relax. So wait, now first, although you can just poke stuff. Uh. So first, I need you to roll up the snow. And I think I can do this. Also, it's neat that, that you 
the the snow like clears little paths, but unless it's you know a full block of snow, it doesn't grow up, or you know it doesn't increase in size. Just neat little visual effects. What is this? I I'm not sure that's how telescopes work, but that's really neat regardless. Oh man, I love the little musical flourishes or whatever when you. Oops, I didn't mean to undo that. But like when you sit down on a bench and just relax and the music just changes to something more relaxing. It's just it's a really great touch. And I love that it sort of preserves your the marks that you leave in there. That's really cool. This feels really cohesive. Kevin. I was playing another game. I uh it's an upcoming one, but uh uh whew. it is pretty much exactly what I mean by puzzle games that are too hard. Hmm. So I can't... Well, that was a tricky one. So... I kind of want to push them down? No, because then I'll... And that's not good. But then I... I can't... That's not good. Huh. If I just get... Oops. This one as big as possible. And then... But how do I... Wait, now that's... Hmm. There we go. I get that one. Uh, wait. No? Uh, but how do I... Oh! Oh! No, I think I got this. I got this. Okay. Nice low impact puzzle game. I need I need that sometimes. Just relaxing and uh, Rebecca. What the? Up. Oh. So that's hmm. interesting. So here we've got some difficulty, even though we don't have any snow. It's just sort of hard to. Now can I... Oh! Not too hard there at all. Just... Nice little change up in mechanics, really. The music in this is so chill. What? The, that's... Oh! I see. It's not as easy as it looks. Uh, hmm. So I can store that. What, what good does that do me? Actually, I can't get it down, so it does... Harm, not good. Okay, so. Hmm. That's too big though. Hmm. They're branching paths, or is everything pretty linear? Like there, it looks. It looks like there might be branching paths, but I. I don't think I. It seems to funnel me around. Unless there was a different way I could go. Let me just- oh! We didn't finish up Kate. Let's take a peek back at some of these here. Um, so I think this is one of these ones where I need to clear the snow. Oop! I love that undo button. This This game could potentially be very frustrating without that. Oh, and let's look at the menu that- oop! Ah, oh, that's not what I meant to do. It's the select button, not the start button. So the menu, very simple, but uh, I really like this little the menu. It's so... It's just so cohesive. Yeah, when you save and quit, like I said before, it just... Um, oops. It saves your, like, exact location, I think, and it saves the exact state of all of the snow and stuff, which is just really neat. Because you can just quit any time and you come right back, and it's great. So... Oops. Ah. 
Hey, Kate. What's going on? Kate's got a nice little tie there. So was there... Hmm. Wait, where's that telescope? I just want to see if there's, like, branching paths. Like, there seems to be slightly optional paths, but uh, I think I'm basically funneled through this one that I'm not super stuck on, but uh, not immediately obvious, so... Yeah, I think I do have to pass through there. It's just so relaxing, it's unreal. Alright, let's... Oops. Let's go fix this one. What's your name, you troublemaker? Chris. Chris! Hmm. I don't understand this Chris. Maybe if I made the top one the big one, then I... Can I knock it off with... Ah! Oh, there we go. That, see, not too hard at all. Just gonna change up your thinking a little bit. I like how simple the solutions are. They're not... Oop. Wait, no, that's... Hmm. There's nothing super complex to get wrong or anything. So... Hmm. Wait, no, I need to push you to the right. So... Okay. Wait, but then, how do... I know, I know. But wait, crap. Um, there we go. This music is great. Julian! This game doesn't really... I guess it's more like there's optional puzzles more than there's like branching paths. Uh, hmm. So... Feels right, but I can't. Hmm. Nope. Hmm. hmm. Well, that's an optional one, so we'll we'll check it. We'll take a look at the next one. Jack and Jill. Oh, maybe there is slightly branchiness. Where does this? Oh, no, this one's optional, I guess. Freya, huh? Uh oh, I ruined it. Oh, it's one of these. Wait, but how would? No. Hmm. Move it all to the left, I'm screwed. Can't move this one. But how do I... Let's do the one I have to do. It's two snowmen! That's why it's Jack and Jill. I see. Okay, so... Uh, hmm.
Uh, I don't think that's gonna work. Oh, hmm. Does that help me out any? Uh, hmm. Actually, I can't get those off, can I? Dang it. Okay. I thought it was so clever. Ah, hmm. Oh, I see. I think I got it. I think I got it. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Jack! Wait. Nope. Don't do that. Um... Okay. It's really nice that it's it's so easy to trap yourself, but you can untrap yourself real easy, you know, with the undo button. Alright, so we get some multi-snowman stuff going on here. We'll do we'll do one more. Um, hmm. Hum. How am I gonna? That's an interesting one. If I yeah, that'll grow. Okay. Hmm. So I have to... How do I do that? But then I... Okay, I think I got it. Hey, Jessica. And so now... Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Amelia. So yeah, this is a good snowman. It's hard to build. You can get it on itch.io. I'm not sure if this is on Steam yet. Um, if it is, I'll link to it. I know it's on itch.io for $10 currently. Um, very nice, relaxing little puzzle game. I'm not entirely sure of the scale of it, but, uh, I, I don't, we don't seem to be ne anywhere near the end quite yet. Oh, there's another thing! Maybe I, maybe I can do one more. Because I really want to look through that telescope. Um, hmm. at all. Uh, maybe I should just get that one. No, no I need... Ah, crap. Oop. No. Actually... If I do this... Then... 
Actually, I think I need to leave you up there. Yeah, this works, right? Okay. Yeah, I just want to peek in this telescope. Maybe we can see if the end is anywhere close or not, or just see a bit more of the game in general. I really love this telescope idea. Just give you a sneak peek at what's to come and stuff. That's something I really like in Metroidvania games, is that you get little glimpses at cool stuff that's coming up. So there's a gate over there. Is that like World 2? I have no idea. I don't know if that's the end or if there's a World 2. Um, yeah, this is a good little peek at <coughs> a good snowman is hard to build. 